Alice Grey and welcome to another episode of Grey Matter, the series of science shorts that talks all things brain and cracks all things cranium. Recently, an interesting use of Class B drugs has hit the headlines, with low-dose ketamine being used to treat depression. After a small dose of ketamine, patients with depression show significant improvement in just 72 hours. Ketamine can be an effective antidepressant because it affects the levels of brain chemicals, and people with depression show different levels of the chemicals in their brain, including one called glutamate. Glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter. In other words, it's a brain chemical that increases the activity in the brain, and it's involved in learning, memory, and movement. Glutamate is tightly regulated, and we see increased levels of glutamate in stressful situations, and we also see these increased levels in people with depression. Ketamine is a useful antidepressant because it blocks the receptors which bind glutamate, called NMDA receptors. And by blocking these receptors, it stops the high levels of glutamate binding and causing the symptoms of depression. This interaction with NMDA receptors is also the action that causes the psychotropic effects of ketamine. And although ketamine shows some therapeutic benefits, there are limitations, including long-term effectiveness and potential for abuse. But this isn't the only case where recreational drugs can be used to treat psychiatric conditions, with amphetamine seeming to have positive effects on PTSD symptoms. PTSD, or post-traumatic stress disorder, is a mental health condition that can develop after a traumatic event, and symptoms can include flashbacks, disturbing thoughts, or increase in the fight-or-flight response. The underlying neurology of PTSD is thought to be related to the way that your brain creates and stores memories. When a memory is first formed, it starts as a fragile structure and is reorganised into a more permanent structure in the brain. This moves that memory into the long-term memory. This is called memory consolidation. In PTSD, it's thought that the memory consolidation phase fails and the memory stays out of long-term memory. And that means the memory stays closely linked to the traumatic feelings of the event. Therefore, when they experience a trigger, the memory is involuntarily retrieved. And because the memory hasn't been consolidated into the long-term memory, they relive the event like it's actually happening again. So when rat models of PTSD were given amphetamine, they showed increased resilience to trauma. And this is because the way amphetamine links with memory. So it's thought that by combining a low-dose amphetamine with therapy that helps to remodel the memory, you can help to treat the effects of PTSD. So that's it for this episode of Grey Matter. If you have any topics you'd like me to cover, leave a comment and stay tuned for next time.